Hi everybody, Jackie here with Jim Forcor of Forcor Heating and Air Conditioning. How are you doing today, Jim? Good, Jack. Good, good. So today we're answering the question, if you know my air conditioning isn't reaching my bedrooms or it's not reaching a part of my house, do I need a bigger air conditioner? Yeah, that's a common question I get. And that's and everybody thinks that, especially the that's been a common problem on a two-story uh, uh, colonial home. Uh, the upstairs always seems to run warmer than the downstairs, but you're fighting Mother Nature there. Heat rises. Uh, heat rises, and you get that big staircase that acts as a, uh, a plenum, and the, the heat rises up, the cold air falls down it, and so, and your thermostat's on the first floor, so the first floor is going to be perfect, uh, and it shuts off the air conditioner, and the upstairs is still needing air conditioning. And people think, I need more air conditioner, I need a bigger one right. to... Fill in. See, and what they don't need, they don't need more capacity because you are satisfying the thermostat uh, and you don't want to go bigger, it's not going to help your situation. What you need is more airflow to the upstairs or, as we talked at one time about zoning, if your house is big enough, you may want to have two zones where you have a thermostat upstairs and one downstairs. Okay. And after your thermostat downstairs is satisfied, your upstairs is still calling for cooling, and you still receive cooling to the upstairs bedrooms. This way, with that control up there, you can be assured that you're going to get the cooling you want. Um, other ways we try is balancing where we get more airflow to the upstairs. But if you're satisfying your thermostat on the first floor, it's airflow and balancing is your problem, not capacity. Not capacity. So when it's an airflow and a balance problem, but zoning isn't something that's recommended, just maybe this house isn't big enough or um, there's something you can do with the airflow, what are some ways that you work with that airflow to make it better when, without zoning? Oh, we can damper uh, some 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 uh, runs down uh, downstairs because uh, that's where our thermostat is. And if we've got a lot of airflow coming out, say in the dining room where the thermostat's located, thermostat doesn't care what's going on up in the master bedroom. Right. It could be 100 degrees in your master bedroom, but if it's 70 uh, or 72 at your thermostat, it shuts off. It's it's done. It, tells the air conditioner to shut off. So if we can damper down some areas downstairs, get it to run longer, uh, continue to move air through the up to the upstairs, this is what we call balancing uh, okay. and, and trying to get the airflow we need to the upstairs. And this can help. And sometimes even filtration. We'll go with a, okay. a little bit of a cheaper, a less MERV filter uh, to give us less restriction to airflow in the summertime because we're trying to get that cold, heavy air to the last place it wants to go, upstairs. Upstairs. And where it's needed the most. Right. So yeah, balancing, there's a couple different ways to attack it, but uh, putting in a bigger air conditioner can actually be more harmful than helpful. Okay, so how is it more, so be, because it's not a capacity issue when you add an, an extra air conditioner, it's obviously adding more cost and more fuel and, and, mm -hmm. that, and that can be harmful. Are there any other ways that it's harmful? Well, yeah, so first of all, if the air conditioner is too big, uh, for the duct system, you're going to have problems with airflow, icing the coil, uh, things like that. It's not going to move enough air to suit the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. The other problem is if you're too oversized, you aren't going to dehumidify the house well. If your air runs for a short period of time on a 90 degree, degree day and then shuts off, we need running time to dehumidify that house so we aren't living in a cave. Right. Okay. If I've got a 70 degree 80% humidity cave, uh, if you're running your thermostat down under 70 degrees in your house to try to be comfortable, it's probably because the relative humidity is higher than it should be. Okay. And this is a sign of oversizing on your air conditioner. If you go too big, your air conditioner will cool, but it won't dehumidify well. So and that causes problems. Exactly. So other than enter higher energy consumption, uh, there is a detriment of that, that you're not conditioning, uh, you're not dehumidifying as well. So going too big on an air, everybody thinks bigger is better, but not in air conditioning. There's What you want is the right size for you. The your right home. size, because oversizing is a problem. Is a problem. Is a problem. As much as undersizing. Absolutely. Yes. So if you guys aren't getting the, the, the cooling and the air conditioning that you want upstairs and your bedrooms are in, in parts of your house, give Four Core Heating and Air Conditioning a call. Um, really what you're looking for is a consultation to figure out the best way for you. Maybe it's balancing, maybe it's zoning. Um, whatever way they find is best to get that airflow upstairs and make sure that you're comfortable and you have control over that. So give them a call or visit them online at fourcoreheating.com to learn more. 
Thank you. Thanks.